Hello there, my name is Chris Palmer. In today's LSI keywords video, what I'd like to share with you first and foremost is going to be what are LSI keywords or co occurring keywords. Along with that is how do you use the co occurring keywords? And what I'd really like to do is maybe point you in the direction of some tools that can help assist when implementing. SEO optimization utilizing co occurring key phrases or LSI. These are one and two the same. So, with that being said, I'm Chris Palmer with Chris Palmer Marketing. Go ahead and pay a visit here. This is where you can get to everything consulting, the mastermind services, everything, chrispalmermarketing.com. With that being said, I want to go ahead and first point out what are LSI keywords. So, what are LSI keywords? And what it stands for is latent semantic indexing. So in simpler terms, you could go ahead and read this coming from this particular blog or in much simpler terms, LSI keywords or co-occurring phrases are keywords, other keywords that often come up when topic talking about a subject. For instance, let's say we're talking about a kitchen words that might come up when speaking about a kitchen are words like stove, refrigerator, microwave. These would be co-occurring key phrases. Now, with that being said, as far as LSI or latent semantic indexing or Google's NLP, how they understand particular terms when talking about a subject, there's different weightings. Some co-occurring phrases are weighted higher. They mean more. They're more relevant when talking about a term. So for instance, if you take a look here at this particular blog, just to explain a little bit more what LSI is, this is from the Majestic blog, but if you take a look here at this particular photo, this is Google's NLP. Now, what they're doing is they're pointing out words, co-occurring words, or very highly relevant words when talking about a particular keyword. They're narrowing out a sentence and pulling out the words that are co-occurring phrases, and then they're giving them a score, a weighting score of how relevant these words are. You see, when doing SEO, when we're optimizing, let's say you're a business owner, okay? If you want to rank for New York plumber, okay, this New York plumber is the keyword. So you need to make sure that New York and plumber, or just the word new, just the word York, or just the word plumber is on the page the right amount of times in the right places, right? Like headings and within the body content. Now, that's optimization. When we're talking about co occurring keywords or LSI terms, this is how you become the most relevant article. So you need to have the right diversity of LSI keywords and you have to have them in the right places the right amount of times. Now, how we get to this point, how do we understand? Okay, well, what we understand now what the keywords are. These are words that come up often when we're talking about a subject. But how do we find these keywords? How are we supposed to know? Well, this is where particular tools come in, much like Google's NLP tool, which they used to have a complimentary API. Now there's tools out there that are for optimization. They'll help you with not only keyword optimization, but also LSI work tools like Page Optimizer Pro, which is going to lay out the co occurring or what they name as LSI keywords. And then they're going to give you an important score based on Google's NLP. So, hey, this is 100% important to the primary keyword, which in this instance is Denver Flooring Company. These are the other keywords that you'll want to use. They're right here in this list here. Okay. So this is, this is the LSI terms and the weighting system. This is Google's NLP. That's one tool. That's one way that you could pull them in utilizing the API. You can use Page Optimizer Pro as another tool for optimization and finding your LSI or co-occurring key phrases. It gives it to you in a nice laid out version. Another tool for doing this is called Surfer SEO. This takes care of optimization plus your co-occurring words. As you can see here, here's a, a diagram. They're doing a side by side in this quick little picture here. Here's Google NLP and Surfer NLP pretty much pulls in that data plus a little bit extra. And then new on the market, I don't know if you've heard of this yet, is called Inlinks with which is really going even farther in depth as far as finding your co-occurring or LSI terms. And this is called inlinks. So now you know what are LSI terms. These are words that come up when talking about a particular subject. Well, what is optimization? This is having the exact keyword the right amount of times. Being relevant is having the co-occurring phrases the right amount of times or the LSI terms. Now, 
now that we've talked about all the different tools, how do you add them to the page? Well, the best thing to do is to, at the very beginning of any campaign, from the start, have SEO in mind. Oftentimes, people are going to be writing for the customer, right? Instead of doing both, writing for the customer, having the best quality content possible with lots of images, audio, and video, right? Full of multimedia, but they don't have SEO in mind. The best thing to do is have a tool from the beginning, like I showed you, either in links, you can use Majestic, you can use Page Optimizer Pro, you can use Surfer, any of these tools will give you the result that you need. This way you can write your content to be optimized with SEO in mind and also have the most relevant utilizing LSI and co-occurring phrases. So my best recommendation is pick a tool that works with your flow and write your content with SEO in mind, adding these particular keywords in. Now, if you're thinking, Chris, you know, hey, I already pay a subscription for like an Ahrefs or maybe a SEMrush. I don't want to add another one in. My content writer's already great at writing. How can I add keywords in with what I already have? Another great option for you is when you're putting your keywords in, say into SEMrush, I'm sure Ahrefs has an equivalent way to do this as well. I use SEMrush, I do personally. What I have found that works very, very well and they have a massive data pool is by putting your keyword into the keyword magic tool. Say for this instance, I put in keywords, I did a search inside the keyword magic tool. These words over to the left-hand side by volume are the co-occurring key phrases or LSI terms. So by sprinkling or by adding these words into your document that's well written, it's already it's already up, it's already ranking, but you want it to rank better. By adding these phrases, by adding these words at just a slighter density, you'll make your content more relevant. So I just want to wrap this video up. I wanted to give you I wanted to give you the details of what is LSI how to use LSI and what are some of the tools for LSI and how you can start optimizing your pages with SEO in mind. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any other questions related to LSI keywords or latent semantics indexing keywords or co-occurring phrases or on-page SEO, really anything at all, never hesitate. Always feel free. Go ahead and ask in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next LSI keywords, how to use LSI keywords, video. Have a wonderful day.